Hello everybody and welcome to part 12 of my video sailing course. In this video I explain how to turn the stern of a sailboat through the wind and jibe safely. Everything I show in this video you also find in my book Learn to Sail with Captain Sailnator. There I describe everything very comprehensively step by step and explain a few more tips and tricks that I could unfortunately not show in this video. You find a link to the book in the video description. Disclaimer. This video is not meant as a solo teaching aid. It is intended as a supplement to a sailing course. Never go on board a sailboat without an experienced sailor or rather only under the supervision of a licensed sailing instructor. Thank you very much. So far we only learned one maneuver to get on the other side of the wind. Tacking. There we turn the bow through the wind. In this video I show you one way of sailing the jibe. That's the other way around, where we turn the stern through the wind from broad reach to the opposite broad reach. What is the danger by jibing and why do we have to perform it in a certain way? Here we see that the sail is already eased very much when we are sailing broad reach and if we are bearing away to sail a jibe, the stern turns into the wind. At some point the sail gets the wind from the other side and the boom flies to the opposite side at a single blow. Somebody might be hit by the boom and if we are unlucky the boat capsizes. So now we have seen what happens if the boom goes uncontrolled from one side to the other when we turn the stern through the wind. But what can we do to prevent this? Before we jibe we pull the boom in the middle of the boat and then let it carefully go to the other side. Now I will explain the steps how we can do that. We sail on a broad reach and from there we jibe to the opposite broad reach. What do we have to do now to get there? Do we have to head up or to bear away? We have to bear away. And what do we have to do for that? We have to pull the tiller towards us. Now the stern turns slowly in the direction of the wind. What will happen now when we leave broad reach? The jib collapses. We now get on downwind course and normally we would ease the mainsail and pull the jib over to the other side. But we don't want that now. We want to get on the opposite broad reach. So we sail on broad reach and bear away from there carefully and very slowly until the jib collapses. Then we return the tiller to the middle and keep course. Now we are right on the border between broad reach and downwind. The jib flutters now a bit back and forth and that's the sign that we are on the border at this time. Now there are different options for the further process. Either the helmsman keeps sitting on his position, holds the main sheet and then changes seats. Some also stand up, take the tiller between the knees and then haul the main sheet. Or you change seats first and then haul the main sheet from there. How it can be done the best way with the boats in your sailing school will be explained to you by your sailing instructor. I assume now that we change seats first. That way we sail on and check if we are still on the course between broad reach and downwind. If we do so, the helmsman hauls the main sheet as close as possible. He can initiate this with the command Haul Main Sheet. For a moment, we now sail between broad reach and downwind with hauled mainsail. And now we want to turn the stern through the wind. Because now he is sitting on the leeward side, the helmsman pushes the tiller instead pulling it for bearing away. Now we are on downwind and when the boat continues to turn, then the helmsman feels at the main sheet that pressure builds up in the mainsail. Now he loosens the main sheet and let it run through his hand. The sail now opens up and just before the boom hits the shrouds, the helmsman grabs the main sheet again and declarates the mainsail this way. After this shock, the bow can turn into the wind or in strong winds, the boat might even capsize. To prevent this from happening, the helmsman pulls the tiller for a short period of time, lessens the shock this way and turns the bow back on course. Now the crew pulls the jib to the other side, the helmsman puts the tiller back to the middle, trims the mainsail for broad reach and then he commands sailing broad reach. The jibe again in the fast run. We sail on a broad reach, from there we bear away a bit, the jib collapses, we put the tiller back to the middle and keep course and the helmsman changes seats. Ready to jibe? Ready! Haul main sheet. Now he pushes the tiller away and commands jibing and ease main sheet. He shortly pulls the tiller and commands trim sails. Sheets into broad reach. 
Sailing Broad Reach. Everything I show in this video you also find in my book Learn to Sail with Captain Sailnator. There I describe everything very comprehensively step by step and explain a few more tips and tricks that I could unfortunately not show in this video. In the next video I will explain how to heave too. You can find a link to the video in the video description. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel so you will not miss the next video. You also find a link to my book in the video description below. It is written in a way that you can prepare yourself for your next sailing lesson with the respective chapter and then repeat everything you learned afterwards. The book is also available in a colored version and as ebook and book and ebook are great to prepare yourself for a sailing course and also to read during the course about what you are just doing. It is written in a practical way and I think your sailing instructor will explain everything in a very similar way and after reading the book you will understand him better and faster and then you will even learn to sail faster. A link to the book can be found in the video description. I self-published the book and I would be glad if you buy it and support me as an independent author. Thank you very much.